The Secret Service response has drawn massive scrutiny since Saturday. And Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum spoke exclusively to a former Secret Service special agent who breaks down what he believes went wrong. The U.S. Secret Service says over the last few weeks, protection for former President Donald Trump increased, even sharing concerns with his campaign about outdoor events. But my source says there needs to be more dedicated manpower for candidates. Shots rang out, causing chaos and panic in Butler, Pennsylvania last Saturday. Former President Donald Trump ducking down behind a podium, bleeding from his ear before being escorted off stage by Secret Service agents with his fist in the air. The shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, fired an AR-style rifle from 150 yards away, perched on a sloped rooftop. Moments later, he was gunned down by Secret Service. Simple question, was there enough law enforcement presence at this rally? There was law enforcement presence there, but it wasn't Secret Service presence. There was not enough Secret Service presence. Frank Boudreau Jr. calling out the U.S. Secret Service. Boudreau led the Secret Service Phoenix Field Office from 2021 to 2023 as special agent in charge. His career with Secret Service spans 25 years. He's worked with five presidents, including Joe Biden. Boudreaux says there are less resources for candidates compared to a sitting president. If that was the president, or if it was a national special security event, like the current convention going on right now in Milwaukee, Secret Service would have assets in that place. There would have been a Secret Service controlled uh, area 150 yards outside of the, uh, the stage, without a doubt. In the perimeter at the rally, he says, was too small. I think the Secret Service needs to take anything within rifle range in, in, in their control. But to do that, they need to hire and have a lot more people available. Fox News has reported that a local law enforcement officer did spot a suspicious man carrying a rangefinder 30 minutes before the shooting. But you need to have someone on the rooftop or someone controlling access to the rooftop. Back in January 2022, Trump held a rally at the Country Thunder Festival grounds in Florence. He wasn't president then, and Boudreaux says there were challenges. There was about 30,000 people there at an outdoor rally, and similar. Uh, we had to work really hard to uh, cut off the line of sight. Granted, there wasn't the, the high grounds that they had. Collaboration with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office was key. Boudreaux also says agencies like the FBI and IRS get more funding. There's always been a motto of that, you know, we do more with less, and that needs to stop. We need to do more with more. And unfortunately, the last, ever since 9-11, ever since shortly after 9-11, our resources have been tapped at a significantly higher rate than, than uh, historical. As for what's next? They're going to look at the initial advanced documents. There's going to be a site survey. There's going to be a lead advanced survey. There's going to be a counter sniper survey. That was all done by people that got there ahead of time. And they're going to see what the, the requests for manpower were. Boudreaux believes Secret Service will take a look at aerial security like drones for outdoor events. The world has changed. And I think the Secret Service needs to do a better job of changing. Homeland Security is investigating the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. And now Congress is also opening an investigation. I'm Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum.